<laughs> so hello everybody and welcome to Flamingle. So today I'm at the Lily Lantry pub slash restaurant in Fulham and I've been joined by the girls who have created brush and bubbles. So today I have with me Lara Goodison and Tiffany Carey. So I first heard about brush and bubbles through my friend Anna who's one of your artists but for everybody who may not be as familiar with the concept, what is brush and bubbles? What is brush and bubbles? <laughs> Go on then. Uh, <laughs> brush and bubbles is a painting and prosecco class. Uh -huh. It's for all abilities, so whether you are a seasoned artist or you haven't picked up a paintbrush in school, we got a lot of beginners. Um, to just come, come, be creative, step by step painting, and leave with a canvas painting of your own, and drink prosecco. How fun! I love yeah. it. So anybody can come. It doesn't matter what age you are, what ability, um, and you get to have a cheeky glass of prosecco along the way. Yes. Exactly. How fun! And. So today we're at one of your classes in London, but where and when are your classes normally held? So we have lots of classes sporadically. Um, we have some weekday evening classes, so after work time, so you can come for like a date night or oh. meet your friends after work. So they're normally from about 7pm to 9pm. And then we have weekend classes, so both Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. um, all across London, mostly south, southwest. And then we're also now in Cardiff. Which is exciting. Very so, exciting. Yeah. So we're doing weekend classes in Cardiff. Yeah. And then hoping to move to Manchester at some point this year as well. Wow. Wow. So you've expanded quite quickly as well. So yeah. it's only been running for two years, did you say earlier? A year and a half. Yeah. 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 Wow. Very, very exciting. Good luck with it all, especially your new classes. Um, so I was wondering, did, what inspired Brush and Bubbles? Do you have a background in art or business? Where did the idea come from? Well, we always joke that I'm the bubbles and Lara is the brush. Because Lara is oh. actually an artist. So, oh, really? over to you. Where's our background in art, Lara? Well, we are both actresses, uh -huh. um, which was how we met. We met at an audition and we just stayed friends. And then we wanted to start something that was our own, that we could still do alongside acting, mm -hmm. um, that we could control, and that was still artistic and creative. And we came up with this just because we thought we would love to come to a class like this. So I think you always have to start something that you know you love yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I've painted since I was really young. My dad's an artist, my mum paints, uh, my brother's a graphic designer. So we're family. all arty. Mm -hmm. um, I actually didn't tell Tiff because I sort of forgot just because I hadn't done it for ages. And she was like, what do you mean you paint? Like when she found out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so it sort of just happened organically. But like Tiff's really, really good at the tech stuff, and I'm awful. So if there's any no. tech problem, she is literally tech. like Steve Jobs. Tiger, I call her Steve. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's really good. So I think throughout like the process, we've sort of just found our way. Mm -hmm. But it didn't really stem from anything other than us just wanting to start something fun. You just liked the idea and yeah. you just ran with it. And you yeah. thought it would suit you both and surely other people would love it too. Well, I enjoy the idea anyway, it's yeah. very, very fun. <laughs> um, so from having that idea, and like, you have your background in art, and like I said, you're very good at the tech side, but how did you grow a business into what it is today? I think we we took it, well, I was gonna say we took it slowly at the start, we didn't, did we? We kind of after a week, ahead. yeah, we just ordered all the materials after like a week of having the idea. So we were like, yeah, we're doing this. So we ordered all the kit, um, and then we put on a class for friends and family uh -huh. um, to kind of come. Actually, Anna taught that class. Oh. Um, so they came and kind of gave us feedback and um, we learned from what we did right and what we did wrong. Uh -huh. um, and then, yeah, just kind of started doing it. And it's we've kind of learned a lot along the way. Oh. There's a lot we didn't know about, is mm. um, that You have to make some little mistakes or just try and error to find out what works. Yeah. And now you've got this brand of brush and bubbles yeah. and you've actually managed to expand it as you said, to Cardiff and now Manchester. Yeah. So how did you go about expanding it as a business? Um, I think we kind of did it quite slowly, didn't we, in the sense that we kind of made London work and then we were like, let's go to Cardiff and then we've implemented in Cardiff what we've learned in London. Uh, so you're from Wales, aren't you? I am, yeah. Why you've yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll go home. <laughs> I'll to go home and teach yeah, art. Yeah. Have fun. Yes. No, nice. Well, so as we did speak about, you're both actually actresses by profession. So I was wondering, how did you make the transition from being actresses into entrepreneurs, like with brush and bubbles? I think what's hard, some people who aren't actors um, don't realise how much you have to be your own boss as an actor anyway. Uh -huh. So we were quite good at just being self, 
what's the word? Um, like motivated. Motivated. Yeah, definitely yeah. self motivated. That's exactly it. Um, but the whole entrepreneur thing is just sort of come along the way. Mm. Definitely just had the idea, rolled with it, Googled a lot, asked a lot of questions, mm -hmm. tried to make the best decisions we could possibly yeah. make with what we knew and then have just massively learned along the way. Mm -hmm. I think you learn from doing it. People yeah. can tell you to their blue in the face not to do this and not to do that, but until you've done it yourself, yeah. you're not going to learn. What do you think the bi biggest lesson you've learned is along your, your journey so far? Keep it simple. Yeah, I mean, we come up with so many other business yeah. ideas all really? the time. But I've got like, started a we should do this. Yeah. And then we're like, oh, no, no, let's just focus on our main business. Yeah. Let's just do that. But yeah, I think keep it simple. Keep it simple. Because it's just simple. It's a painting class with Prosecco. And we keep coming up with ideas like, oh, let's add in bring your baby and let's add in bring your dogs. dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, no, just keep it simple. So, I mean, people can bring babies and dogs if they want, but... Yeah, I think it's just keeping it simple. Yeah, it? it's the main. Keep it simple yeah. with your brand, your logo. I love all the aprons. We're sitting around here. They've got easels, paintbrushes, yeah. so you don't have to bring anything. You no. just come as you are yeah. and have a painting. Yeah, yeah. We provide everything. Just yeah. and you get to take the painting away with you. Yes. Oh, fantastic! So everybody leaves with a little gift as yeah. well. Um, so you find it quite all right to balance your acting career with brush and bubbles as yeah well from i think so because we're both actors it's quite nice we understand oh. that if one of us gets a job we go off and do that like i'm going away this weekend oh, really? and mm -hmm. it's just in filming and lars going to be running the show next week so oh. yeah i think it's take it in turns yeah. balance each other out you're both in the same boat yeah exactly so you can just help each yeah, other yeah yeah fantastic so i was wondering what do you most enjoy about running your own business and brush and bubbles people yeah, I think it's really nice getting to meet different types of people and we're really lucky because everyone who comes to classes are always so nice. lovely, mm -hmm. really wow. supportive, just lovely people, um, so that's a bonus. Also working together, yes. that's a well big yeah. bonus. Oh. Um, you get to work with like, your best yeah, friends. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We have so much fun and even yeah, when do. we have to do stuff that isn't as fun, like learning about admin oh, bits, yeah. um, we still have to, like, we do it together, so it, it makes it So you muddle through all the budgeting, yeah. Yeah, everything together. Yes, yeah. good. All the spreadsheets. Fun. Yeah. Although we make spreadsheets fun because we make them colourful, don't we? <laughs> that is fun. Yes. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You've got to try, you've got to try. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you've got to bring the fun to the business. And yeah. Some bubbles and some brushes yes. along yeah. the way. Yeah. Very, very fun. So, um, as for the future, maybe in regards to your acting career, but definitely for brush and bubbles, what aspirations do you have? Oh, that's a hard one. I think they're always going to be big. <laughs> that's okay. The big thing. No, you've got to um, dream big to exactly. make it happen. Exactly. I think if you're going to do something, you have to do it like fully mm -hmm. and give it your all. And I think we do that with both acting and with brush and bubbles. And I think we've now managed to make brush and bubbles work in a way that we don't have to pick or choose. Like we've got wonderful girls who work for us and can run the classes without either of us there, mm -hmm. which is really helpful. Um, and it, we enjoy doing both so much that just we'll just keep rolling with it. And hopefully they can both grow organically. Um, so we're just hoping with brush and bubbles for it to be popular in these other cities that we want to go to and have the same response as it has had in London. That's yeah. the dream. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to try and make that happen. And then acting, I think, it, it's the same thing. It's just trying to work hard at something that you really enjoy and hope that it gets bigger and bigger as you move you forward. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's so positive to hear that you have two great passions. You'll manage to make them work both equally because mm. you're so driven and hard working behind them. So, oh. that's so <laughs> and obviously it's fine, with brush yeah. and bubbles you have a bit of a team behind you as well. Yeah. yeah. So how do you go about finding your resident artists? We've got how many have we got now? I think we've got about fourteen artists oh, um, really? over Cardiff and London. And we've kind of found them all uh, online. Okay. Instagram, a lot of them, I think social media. Mm -hmm. um, friends of friends. Friends of friends well. as well, yeah. And um, what was the question? How do we find How do you more? find them? I think, yeah. yeah, at the moment we've got quite a full team, but if we ever kind of see anyone's art on Instagram, we often just send a message to mm. them. We're like, if you have one, come work for us. I think what's nice for them as well is that it's really sporadic work. So mm. they've yeah. all got their own fields. Lots of them are artists in their own right and do their own work. Lots of them are also performers, singers, dancers, um, have got their own businesses going on. And they quite like having 
a sporadic Part work, time, yeah. um, which they can still be arty and creative with, and they really enjoy doing the classes. So for us, it's a bonus because we're helping them be able to still do what they want to do, mm-hmm. but we're also hiring really lovely people who are good at what they do to teach the class because yeah. yeah. this is like our baby like yeah. it's really hard like yeah. we're quite to fussy, give it really. away yeah. yeah to give it on to somebody else you know, yeah. it must be quite a challenge for you yeah, to have you someone do a few yeah. interviews and a few kind of yeah chats with them before just to make sure that they're happy with everything that we're yeah. looking yeah. for as well yeah. works both the ways mm. Fantastic. Well, you've built up your little brush and bubbles family. Yes, we have. We literally are a little family. (laughs) And you've grown brush and bubbles, as we said, hopefully branching out to three cities. But for anybody who may be watching, who may be interested in starting up their own business, or maybe even just to try something new, what advice would you give them? It's hard because you want to say just go for it. But I've definitely, and I know Tiff has as well, started stuff before that I've then realized would never work Ah. so I think it's just being a little bit realistic Mm -hmm. doing your research finding out what else is out there uh, making sure you're really passionate about it and that you've got the expertise or you've got someone to do it with who has the expertise to help with it and then go for it so it's not just like go for it without even thinking I think you have to have a really good think before um, there's got to be something you enjoy as well Mm. because I think if you're not passionate about it from the start or you you're not going to enjoy it then there's no point and you've got to believe in what you're doing as well like we absolutely love brush and bubbles so we will talk about it and say how much we love it and hopefully people love it when they come whereas I think if I was trying to push something that I didn't fully believe in it wouldn't be believable exactly. or we wouldn't be doing it no. like, yeah I think really believe in what you're doing mm. fantastic well that's brilliant to hear so just believe in what you're doing go for it but with careful planning thought and consideration exactly like the girls have done but as you said you made a couple of um her uh, mis- not mistakes but grown along no the way mistake. yeah yeah and now you've created as what is today brush and bubbles and you're cleverly managed to balancing this alongside both your acting careers so thank you so much for discussing with us all things brush and bubbles there i've just noticed look we're all in blue stripes we are, I know. how exciting <laughs> <laughs> totally bland. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for thank you for having us. All yeah. things brush and bubble. So I love it. Um, so yeah, thank you. And I think it was extremely flamingo of you to definitely go up on your own, set up your own business, believe in it, and achieve what you have achieved today. So thank you, thank you very much again. Thanks and you do actually have a class this evening we as do, well. Yes. Very exciting. So we're just sitting here with all their easels and stuff behind us, and this is the painting. That, I don't know if you can see this, yeah, like a seaside scene and with a palm tree that you're going to paint tonight so have fun and Thank good luck you. with all of that very Thanks very so exciting good luck for all things acting all things brush Thank and bubbles you. and I'm going to link all of their website social media everything to this video so you can all go and have a look yay. and possibly check out all things brush and bubbles yay woohoo